So two years ago, I wrote this book, How to Build an Iron Man Suit, in which you can find lots of science and engineering behind building a real Iron Man suit. So here's five tips for you when it comes to building an Iron Man suit. Number one, don't go for iron for the outside of the suit. You should use a gold titanium alloy, just like Tony Stark used in the MCU. And by the way, these alloys, well, we're very close to actually having them in the future. Number two, thrusters don't exist yet. So when it comes to getting the suit to fly, you're probably gonna have to use jet engines. But be sure to use jet engines that don't rely on fossil fuels and that can work 100% of the time on 100% biofuels. Those are fuels produced from waste materials or from even microalgae. So think sustainably when you're flying your suit. Number three, be sure to include health sensors and biosensors in your suit to monitor your health when you're wearing the suit at all times. Many sports smartwatches include a heart rate monitor, and this should be one of the first sensors you include in your suit. Number four, when you're training the machine learning algorithms behind your Jarvis-like voice assistant, please think ethically about the data that you use to train that voice assistant. Before you start any training at all, talk to an ethicist, get their advice about how you should do things, and be sure that you use unbiased data sets when you're training that voice assistant. Tony Stark didn't do it, so don't be like Tony Stark. And number five, include a brain computer interface so that you can control the suit with your thoughts. No need for a joystick or keyboard. You just gotta think about using the suit and it'll do exactly what you want it to do. For more tips on how to build an Iron Man suit, check out my book, How to Build an Iron Man suit. It's time to start building.